What's going on guys, it's Blake, back with another video. Thanks for tuning in. And today we're starting the day off very, very early. I just went to this acai bowl place pretty close to my house. And I just got this fire dragon fruit acai bowl and then this chocolate protein power shake. So make sure you guys go check them out. Their address will actually be on the screen. I've known the owner for a while and they have some really good stuff. But just remember guys, in these hard times right now, it is really important to support all those small local businesses because it's really hard for everybody. A lot of people are out of their jobs right now. And if you guys have any little places around where you live that you know may be going through some hard times, go in there and support them and pick up some food and bring it home, you know? And with that being said, I hope all you guys are doing well during these crazy, crazy times. And so to briefly explain this situation, I did get my new car about four weeks ago, which was around the time where this coronavirus was beginning. So I didn't go get a car during this whole situation. It was before this whole situation really started, just to make that clear. One more thing I wanted to tell you guys before we jump into this video is that I'm actually giving away this Supreme Box logo hoodie. If you guys didn't know, I've announced it in a couple other videos. It's a brand new size large red bandana box logo hoodie, super fire. And if you guys want to have a chance to win that for free, just do the steps on the screen. It's really simple. All you have to do is subscribe subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and go to this Instagram post and comment, because that's where I'm gonna randomly be picking a winner for it. So make sure you guys do that. And now I'm gonna briefly catch you guys at home, and then we're gonna get into the video. All right guys, so last thing before we get into this video, I just wanna let you guys know that I just cleared out my closet. I'm going to college in a couple months, and I don't need the hundreds of different clothing items and sneakers that I've had over the past years, right? So basically, I'm selling all this stuff. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm selling specifically later on in this video, but if you guys want to buy any stuff from my personal collection and closet all you guys have to do is go to this Instagram right here and I posted a ton of stuff yesterday I have all these different pants we got fear of God Calabasas Supreme Supreme North Face off-white these off-white ones right here pretty dope these Z-Lone pants a bunch of different shorts fear of God just on vintage stuff and then Babe Shark hoodies, Babe Crew Neck. So make sure if you guys wanna cop any of that stuff, go to my Instagram, the Sneak Shop. It'll be right here and the link in the description. It's really easy. All you have to do is DM me on any of these items that you want. And then you just pay me and I ship same day or the day after you've paid, depending on what time it is. So with all that being said, thank you guys. Just wanna let you guys know. And let's get into this crazy brand new car reveal. on guys it's Blake back with another video and today I have a very special video we're gonna be revealing my new car right now basically I just got into a college which I'm gonna be announcing soon in another video but I needed a daily car I originally had a Range Rover SVR right there were a lot of problems with that car and in this video I'm gonna explain why I made and how I made this decision to get this car but I used to have an SUV basically that's my point and now I only had a GTR and the Mercedes GTR it's a great car but as you guys know that's a sports car that can't be a daily car so I was like, no way, Jose, am I going to be driving that hour and a half every time I'm going back and forth from my college to LA. So I was like, it's time to get an SUV. I searched the market a little bit. I was really interested in getting a Tesla Model X. I just didn't really see myself in an electric car at this time. I feel like it's kind of inconvenient to charge your car. I don't think the current Model X looks that appealing. I think they are gonna redo it and make it a lot more sleeker and a lot more futuristic. I just think it looks like a bubble on wheels. So honestly, the only other option for me on the market was a Range Rover. Here is my semi brand new 2019 HSC big body Range Rover. Came with a little bit of miles on it, but I just didn't see the point in buying a new one. I have very, very unique satin black wrap on this on this bad boy right here. 24 inch custom wheels, rims, performance tires on it. Two tone of black, I guess you could say on some spots, like that's a gloss and then the satin. And wow, I mean, if you just see this whole car, this thing is sick. This is, uh, this is a pretty dope looking car. I know that Range Rovers have problems, like I've said, 
but I've never really experienced or seen too many problems in the big ones just because they're not like a super high performance car like the SVR that I had. I was constantly pushing that SVR and the V8 and that SPR to its limits, I was pushing it. That's why the engine had so many problems and a lot of people have had problems with the SVRs. There was like a recall recently after I lemon lawed mine. I successfully lemoned it. The rims really do make a big difference. You see these rims, they were 21 inch rims before. Immediately, I swapped them out because it looks so much better. It looks a lot more expensive. And I really like how the gloss contracts with the other parts of the gloss on the car, such as the door handles and the side panel that goes all the way. I just think it looks dope. With window tints, these came tinted. I haven't done it to this yet. I think it looks pretty cool clear. And I'm also trying to avoid getting pulled over at all in this car. I got a license plate on the front and back. So I'm doing everything right. The reason why I got a 2019 instead of getting like a 2016 or 2017 is because the 2018 model of this car, they changed the headlight and the uh, front. They gave it a huge facelift. And then with the lettering right here and on the front, I just got them gloss black, the grill black as well. Obviously, that's the new light. It looks a lot better than the old one. And I just want you guys to kind of peep the details on this car. I had the wrap done in a week. I gotta give a huge shout out to my boy JD Wraps. His Instagram will be on the screen. If you guys are located in the Los Angeles area, Orange County area, just like LA County, you gotta go to him for your wraps. He charges a very fair price. And if you tell him that you're coming from me, you'll get an even better price. And basically I went to him for all my wraps, all these places in LA, I don't even have to mention them, but they're great. They do great quality work, but they're charging $5,000 for a wrap and they take your car for a month or two months. Who wants to do that? He gets it done in like a week. It's really, really dope. It came out sick. It was gloss black before the whole car, but I wanted it to stand out a little bit but in a very low key, subtle way, you know? Now I'm gonna show you guys the inside of the car and show you the little details and differences that we had knocked out, so. Okie dokie, what's going on? So we're inside my Range Rover right now and a couple of really cool things that I did. So if you see this little guy right here, uh, this was wood before. We changed it to this like black metallic finish. Then this middle console right here with the sliding door. We uh, changed this all as well. Looks a lot better. It goes all the way down to here and to the back. We also did it on the door panels right here, which you can probably see it's on that side too. It just looks a lot better. Range Rover for some reason puts like a really, really nasty old like wood finish in these cars. And I had that all changed. So we switched it all out. And then basically I just had like this car detailed the crap out of yesterday actually because i bought this car with 20,000 miles brand new one of these goes for around like 110 120 i was able to get this for a little under a hundred thousand dollars i think it's smarter i'm gonna be driving this a lot financing it i put a lot down on this i put about half down and uh, i just want to own this car i want to try to pay it off soon yeah very happy with this car has a bunch of charging cables. This dual screen is very, very handy. It has CarPlay and everything, which my GTR doesn't even have. And then it has like the whole climate thing on there and just a huge steering wheel. And it's great. This car is great. It has five seats, two and then three. And so I'm gonna catch you guys at home just to show you guys a couple things and then we'll wrap up this video. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tried to make some sick B-roll. And let me know what you guys think about this wrap on this Range Rover. I think it came out really dope and I'm very, very excited to have this car in the collection now. I think it's dope and hopefully it lasts on me and doesn't blow up. Range Rovers do have problems, but I think with these bigger ones, since you're not driving them super fast, they last a little bit longer. So I'll catch you guys at home. All right, so hopefully Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Super, super excited about. But now I just wanted to kind of briefly go through these individual items that I'm selling on my page. And if you guys wanna go cop any of these, all you gotta do is send me a direct message on Instagram, sending the item that you want, and then we'll just get it situated and shipped out to you. All right, so I got this MCM duffel right here. Don't really have any use for this anymore. It's like worn once, used once, however you wanna call it. Got this Balenciaga puffer jacket. This thing is crazy. It even has the tags brand new. So that can be yours. Put it at like 900 bucks. Retails like 1700. We got all these super dope bait pieces right here. Bape long sleeve, bape hoodie. This is brand new. Travis Scott hoodie, Supreme Bogo. And then a ton of random t-shirts, which are super dope. Just on Supreme, Palm Angels, whatever this is called. Crap, what am I forgetting? Yeah, I forgot. Calabasas tees, on tees, on tees. 
and then a bunch of other stuff. So, and then I just have like a bunch of other miscellaneous things. I'm always posting new stuff on there, so if you guys go follow it, you'll always be updated with the latest steals from my personal collection because I don't need to keep all this stuff anymore. I also just got a bunch of the new Jack Boys like merch. This is a brand new hoodie right here. I just took it out of the thing. And I actually got a couple other shirts too. I appreciate you guys. Please make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you haven't already. I want a lot of new people to start watching my content because I'm about to grow up, I'm about to move out, and my content's about to change up a little bit and it's gonna be really cool. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. It's your boy Blake. We're out of here. Peace.